Thank you for joining us for Community Link. I'm Caroline Mays. With a commitment to equity in the year 2020, a collaboration of major organizations launched Business Equity for Indy. Also known as BEI, the initiative was created to grow a more inclusive business climate. Christian Lampkin leads BEI, and she is here with us to tell us more. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Such a great organization. Give us more of a background on BEI. Why was it created and who came together to do that? Well, in 2020, as many of us know, the killing and murder of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor led to companies understanding that their black community and employees were being impacted in a way that they didn't even imagine. So they came to Indy Chamber and CICP, Central Indiana Corporate Partnerships, wanting to know what is the business community's role? How should we be showing up? And so the business community came together alongside with Business Equity for Indy to really think about how can we move the needle? And so Indy Chamber, Central Indiana Corporate Partners, alongside with the Indianapolis Urban League, birthed Business Equity for Indy. And our focus is truly focused on helping organizations understand how they can impact equity as well have more economic opportunities for Indy's regions when it comes to black and brown residents. So are those the priorities of BEI? Yes, yeah, so our priorities are three areas. Okay. So we focus on people, procurement, and policy. And when it comes to people, what we're doing is helping organizations understand how they can attract, advance, and develop their black and brown talent. And we're also helping organizations understand how they can launch and grow black businesses. And then when we look at policy, we're looking at advocacy. How can we advocate for policies and legislation that's impacting the black and brown community? So you are doing these things with people and policy. Is there another area as procurement. well? Procurement. Procurement, okay. Yes, procurement, yes. And so how are you putting those three priorities in action? Yes, so we have about 15 events that we do over the year under the policy, procurement, and people. So when it comes to people, we have our people community of practice where we had the opportunity to feature you as well. And what we do there is bringing awareness to resources for those that are leading talent so they can understand how they, again, go back to attracting and retaining black talent. We also had a workforce pilot where we took some small and mid-sized organizations and helped them develop their DEI strategies and have equity projects and then when it comes to other collaborations we partner with mentors of color and I was so proud last year we did an event called um, black professionals brunch where we were able to bring together mentorship fellowship and even people walked away with job opportunities by engaging with these individuals you have some great priorities and some great practices yes what are some of the major successes yes. that you've seen from the work that you've done how have you really helped these companies so we had 11 companies that were committed from the beginning. We were able to grow our membership, which launched in 2023. And I must note that our membership is free. We have now 45 companies that are committed and we launched in 2023. And so I'm really proud to share that number. We also have seen companies actually be committed to their black spend. So we've had over $277 million that these companies have committed to having their, mo their money spent with black businesses. In 2024, do you have any major things that are coming up, 2024, yes. 2025? Yes, so we actually launched our annual impact report. And so you are able to see the impact we've been able to have since 2020. And we're doing some amazing things, but we still have a lot of ways to go. So I tell people this is not a sprint, this is a marathon, and we are committed to the efforts. No matter what you're seeing in the city and in the country, this is work matters even more. Well, Kristen, thank you so much for the endurance in that marathon. Thank you. We thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this week's Community Link. To share this story or learn more, head to wishtv.com. We'll see you next week.